Ian asks. Ian asks. That's a fun topic. I'm going to ask. How often do you guys talk to each other outside of the podcast? And consequently, how has this affected your friendship? I've had friends who asked if I wanted to do a podcast, and I'm afraid it could ruin friendships. Oh, this is, an, this is a light topic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this can get fun in the comments section. Uh, how often do I talk to Ian outside of the podcast, or I guess podcast business? Um, depends. Twice a week, three times a week. Outside of the podcast? Three times a week? No. Twice. Like, once. Yeah, once. Once. Once a week. Once when Ian actually takes my calls or returns. I don't take anyone's calls. Uh, I call Ian about nine times more than he calls me. I don't think you can dispute that. No, I can't. <laughs> like, I can't. So it's on Ian if, if he's going to say I don't try to talk to, to him. It's, oh, no, I, I wouldn't say that. Um, um, I, I think it's it's interesting just because when I, when I met Ian... Uh, 10 years ago, then we'll just say nine when I moved here, I was looking to establish, you know, people I knew besides uh, people I knew that were here already, um, obviously. So Ian was, well, he was a nice guy. We'll say Ian 1.0, this is 2.0. <laughs> he was a nice guy, but it was almost not necessity. I was sort of like, oh, let's see what's out here. I was I was going out of my way probably to, to try to meet more people. Yeah. I, I, I used to hang out with like people in fucking PB, I don't think I told you about when no, I first moved I, here. I knew that, yeah. A few people. I used to go to like the fucking Sunday brunches and with a couple of girls, and then there'd be these asshole bro guys. And within a couple weeks, I'm like, fuck this. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm not fucking 20 years old. <laughs> I mean, I was 29. I looked like I was 20 years old, but I, I didn't want any part of that. Yeah. You know, so no, that's I, rough. I tried different things, and trying different things was befriending. You know, a strange shop uh, runner, uh, video shopkeep, game. shopkeep, shopkeep. It's like in a in a in a, in a Final Fantasy game. Um, so it's weird because because we all, we bonded over obviously video games because uh, that's what we had in common before we knew what we loved Bloodsport and things of that name. Yes. So we went to the swap meet. Ian hated that. Fine. Um, you know, NWC thing was fine. Ian, Ian, you know, he's he's, he's climbing the Luna ladder, so to speak, along the way. It, it, it's working out. But I I said talk to Ian. We, we hung out. I say rarely when I first moved here. It wasn't that often. It wasn't like a thing we made. We never we never went out to eat together. No. You know? So the way we spoke was when I would visit him in the shop, you know, and, and on Voltaire Street. And yes. we'd go and we, we would chat. Like maybe once a week I would stop and you'd say like once a week, once yeah. every two weeks. Yeah. Something like that. I wasn't Sounds bothered. Right. I wasn't a, wasn't a lunatic bothering him every day. No, thank you goodness. Know? I remember we talked one time in, in the shop about how these weird Game Boy box collectors were coming onto the scene in like 2010. We had that conversation. Remember that? Remember that one guy? Yeah. So so we we, we uh, had, balloon kid. Yes. So Ian and I have a we we are personality wise and some beliefs wise very far apart when it comes to like game collecting though and like that scene we're pretty fucking close yeah when it comes to that yeah we're, we're married each other when it comes to that so when we talked about pop culture things and movies and new game stuff and retro games we would do it in the shop and so that sort of that conversation our hangouts sort of became the podcast, podcast. So it's not like we are talking less now because of the podcast. We've so short of shit. The podcast it. turned into the 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 hangout turned into Pro the podcast. It was a professional hangout, is what it became. Yeah, so to speak. You you are now privy to our conversations. So that, that's essentially what happened. Um, the the podcast because I I don't think it's on here as a Q and A, but it, it it was I think someone mentioned how the podcast come about the memories it, maybe yeah, but it was sort of uh, I remember joking with Pat the one day because I tuned into uh, one of his he used to do like the Google Hangouts every once well, in a it was, while it wasn't it was UStream yeah it was a UStream and um, he was going on like three hours and I was watching it I had just like tuned in. And it was... This was like 2010. It was raw and uncut. <laughs> and he's just like grabbing shit off of his desk and talking about it. And I... It was miserable. And <laughs> I... There were three hours, first of all. There were probably like two hours. No, I remember watching this... You watched this, one? This, this specific one. I mean, there was a timer in the corner, pad. It's like three hours <laughs> live. On like a Saturday? Yeah. I had my shitty day job. I had some... I had a... <laughs> I was so stressed. So, he knew how stressed I was. I, I was. So I had said to him, I said, you should really do like a podcast structure. I said, a podcast, you know, get, get yourself on, on, on topic. And then like a year later, he was like, hey, how about a podcast? And I, was I don't like, remember okay. you were saying podcast structure. No, I said structure. I said, I said, I suggested I didn't, okay. I didn't put myself in there. I'm not saying I came up with the idea. I just said, you should think about a structure, a, structure, a podcast and structure I said, or something. Idea, or I said, 
Oh, you were like, yeah, that's a good idea, and we never said anything. I mean, that was that. Well, my mind back then, I was, I was, yeah, I was thinking of a thousand things at one time. But. So, anyways, that's that. Uh, in terms of me hanging out, uh, it, like you know, Pat and I hanging out and the friendship and things, I don't actually hang out with many people. Um, I'm I'm a homebody these days, left to my own devices. I'm not calling or texting or talking to anyone. Um, that's, that's well, partially a let, lie. Let's 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 be let's be a little honest here, Ian. Okay, uh, you know, there's there's hangouts that have happened at your place that I never heard about. Well, sure. Before after until after the fact. Sure. In the past, that, that's that's true. I'm just saying I'm not. It's not I'm not blaming you for them, but I'm saying it's happened. Oh, but I'm just saying I'm not overly social either sure. these days. I have my friends, and you I have, do you like have a close knit group of like what four or five people. Yeah, and uh, I, I'll I'll leave uh, my house about once a week to go see them. Um, I usually go and hang out in North Park or something like that. Really? Yeah, that's, that's where they live. Oh. That's where like um, Audrey and Alan and John and all of them live. So every once in a while I'll go out. I usually need one good night out a week, but uh, most of the time I'm I'm happy just sitting at home. Okay. So, um, okay. Yeah, but this is this this is what the hangout became. You're you're looking at it. So this could have been. So if it wasn't for the podcast, there's a chance me and Ian would never talked anymore. Well, like there's an outside shot. No outside shot. I'm not saying we 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 like each other enough outside of video games where we probably could have talked to each other. But the the, the proximity of the game stores helped. And that it, did, especially especially Voltaire. But when it, when it went to uh, Newport Street, that helped. Uh, it did know. too because you used to stop in a lot, uh, going to or coming from dinner. Places. Yeah, like yeah, uh, dinner. That's right. We used to I, we used to drive Ian home. Yeah, like coming back from um, with Frank when well, he's working yeah, coming, Fridays. Coming back from Harp, we used to we used to we used to bring home Ian like three days a month. We we drive back with him. Yeah, which which, which helped him out. So that that being said, yeah, moving the store from Ocean Beach to Chula Vista, proximity played a huge role in a lot of that. And Even though we live uh, five ten minutes. Yes, yeah, we do. <laughs> That's different. I'm afraid of Spike. You know, absolutely. But I would say this podcast in terms of it ruining a friendship. Um, I guess if ego gets in the way and and one person has to be the dominant force on the air, I mean, Ian, me and Ian developed relatively quickly a, a rapport on the podcast yeah. that, that where not one is more dominant than the other when it comes to it. No, I, the, I think the dynamic the dynamic emerged the dynamic emerged uh, rather naturally, rather quickly, and I think that. If you go back to our what, talks in the shop, our talks in the shop, and what you had said about basically that just evolving into the podcast and that becoming the hangout, that was a um, pilot test. It was it was very it was very natural. We had already basically discovered our our rapport. Sure. So it it it, it translated easy. Right. Um, if you are already friends with that person and you can talk to that person naturally and you already have a good conversation, if you find yourself hanging out with that person and things don't devolve to watching TV or playing video games, but you're just sitting around talking with that person, do you go out and eat with that person and, and chat? Um, then that's probably a person you can do a podcast with. Yeah, it's not just to say, well, we both like the same topic, let's do a podcast. That might that not work That doesn't out. work. No. But do you both sit around and have good discussions? Do you leave that discussion feeling like, oh, that was a good time? Then, yeah, you can probably do it. Sure. So we're not friends, is what we're trying to say. No, we hate each other. 